In this step, we're going to install the pod onto the fuselage of the glider. Um, and it's pretty easy to install. Um, you have the tab here, and that tab is going to go onto the fuselage boom. And it only goes one direction. But um, as before, when we assembled the fin or the, the wing jigs, um, you can bevel that edge just a little bit to help get it started. Um, and if you got extra glue in there from when you assembled the uh, coupler, um, you may need to take your X-Acto knife and carve that out. Um, you just need to get that tab to go in there. Like that. And then we're going to glue it in place. Um, and for this, I'm going to use um, medium or thick super glue. So I'll just put a bead of glue along the top. And then just on the edges of the that little tab. And that tab, make sure that that uh, <coughs> make sure that the tube can't be angled anyway, because we don't want the thrust to be angled that the rocket will go off to the side. Um, now the launch lug, this is a 3 16 inch launch lug, um, and you're going to fly it actually off an eighth inch launch rod, not a 3 16 um, Sometimes it can bind a little bit because of the thrust angle, um, so I give you a little bit of extra room in there. Um, this is going to be glued on the same side of the pod as the, the tie-down thread location back here on the back of the wing. So because it's facing this way, we want it to go here rather than on the other side. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. And again, I'm using uh, medium or thick super glue. And it's just going to lay in that crevice right there. And I've got it fairly close to the front of the wing. Um, it doesn't matter too much where along there, but I got it in the front. All right. Now, we're not going to glue the nose cone on yet, but you can go ahead and test fit it. Um, it should be a nice tight fit on that red tube coupler. Uh, the reason why we're not gluing it now is because we're going to take some clay when we go outside to do some test flights um, to trim it up for glide. Um, we may need to put nose weight in there, and so by having it off, we can put the nose weight in. Um, the, the downside of this is that every time it hits the ground, the nose is going to pop off, so just be ready for that. Um, don't, don't do it in grass that's so long that you can't find the nose cone when it comes off, because it is going to come off. Um, so that's going to go in there like that. Um, and actually, we are ready to go out um, and do some test glides. Um, to get it ready for that, you're going to take the rubber band, and you see the little mouth right here. Um, the rubber band is going to go into there, um, and then it's going to go along the wing. On the bottom, there's that little hook, and it's going to grab right there, and that's going to pull it forward like that. Oop, there's a nose cone coming off already. Um, to do your test flights, you're also going to need to put in a rocket motor. So you're going to need a spent rocket motor. That means that the rocket has already been fired and so it should be black. You're going to put that into the, the tube and it's going to stop when it hits that tube coupler on the inside. And then you're going to take one layer of masking tape and this is how the engine is held in. Um, when I put this on, I go from the underside. So I go right in the middle of the tape, go underneath, and then wrap it around so that the ends of the tape are on top. So that way when I go to take it off to put a new rocket motor in, I can, they're right there at the top and I can pull them off. If you go the other way, then the tape's under here and then it's a little harder to get off. Um, and if you have excess tape like I do, you can trim that off or you could fold it over. Um, it's not going to block the nozzle so you're fine. 
trim it off. I just I just go around there like that. So um, in the next video, uh, we're going to go outside and start trimming this for a final glide. Um, and then what's left to do after we trim it, we're going to put on some uh, Kevlar string across here, and I'll explain that. And then we can also go ahead and paint it, but we want to trim it first before we go ahead and paint it uh, because we need to make sure that that nose cone is not glued on yet.